How's it going, everyone? Hey, long time no talk, but I just want to get on real quick and share with you guys how important it is to own your own vehicle, especially in the medical transport industry, because you can do so much when you actually have the pink slips to all your vehicles. I mean, when you first start off, let's say you don't have any money, you don't have good credit, um, you just want to give it a shot. I commend you for that, by the way, because it's not, it's not, a, it's not an easy task and you might only have a couple thousand dollars to your name. You know, depending on your work ethic and how you are as a person, you can make it work. You can outwork all these guys with uh, nice vehicles and you can outperform them also, meaning better uh, customer service, um, better treatment as far as how you talk to these um, nurses, how you talk to these doctors, how you talk to the clients, families. I mean, they'll pick you over the person with the nice vehicles with bad service, right? So let's say you have $5,000 to your name and you get yourself uh, an ambulatory vehicle because you don't have enough money for a, uh, a wheelchair van. Um, you get that money, you pay off that van, now you have one of these pink slips, right? You do your work, I mean, you might be net 30, net 60, net 90. What does that mean? It means uh, you work all throughout January you uh you turn in your invoice on february 1st and depending on the broker or whoever the nursing facilities um they have 30 to 90 days to pay you back right and at that point you're you're burning through gas you're you know if you have employees you're already paying your employees and before you know it you're running out of money but the good thing about having these pink slips are you're able to get a loan off of them I think they're called uh, title loans. I, I did it a couple of times. Didn't really pay attention to uh, uh, the company I was working with, you know, high interest rates. But when you're desperate, you kind of just do what you got to do and hopefully everything works out. And thank goodness for me, it all worked out. And I think a lot of people can attest to that. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. That's what I meant. Um, so that's the importance of uh, having your own pink slips. And at the same time, uh, what else can you utilize it for? It's for, because um, I've had experiences with leases also, you know, I've had, uh, I've had accounts where they would give me um, a certain amount of vehicles, but I had to perform uh, a certain amount of trips per day for them, brand new vehicles. But at that point, you become, you become a slave to that company. And that's happened to me. I got stuck in that contract for about five years. But well, guess what I did? I bought a bunch of these vans, you know, the ones that I could afford, cash, money. And what I was doing was I was going to all these different brokers. I was going to these different nursing facilities. And I was parading and marketing those brand new vans that they, uh, that they gave me. Um, although I was leasing it or working towards paying it off per trip, um, I was able to get new accounts through that and I was able to service those accounts with a reliable vehicle. I mean, obviously as you grow, as you make money, don't be cheap, start investing in better, uh, quality vehicles, equipment, you know, but in the very beginning, I get it right like uh credit's not that good you don't have any business credit you can't get any um trade lines with any of these um accounts uh it's difficult right and everyone's gonna tell you it's easy um people are gonna try to pitch you funding but the less people you have in your business and the more you can do for yourself and the more you can be creative and at the end of the day the the less borrowed money you used to start a business and you actually bootstrap it yourself and you're able to acquire assets like this the easier it is for you you know because at the end of the day business stops now you still have all these assets that you could liquidate right like right now i got a, i got rid of uh two of the vehicles because i'm about to upgrade a couple so i got rid of the old ones and that's just going to help towards uh paying off the other one I mean, I think those two vehicles I bought for 5,000 bucks a piece. And, you know, a lot of these vehicles, especially the vehicle market right now, they don't really lose their value, uh, at least not right now, in 2023. It hasn't gone down yet. I mean, I'm still paying over the price for the vehicle I'm about to buy. 
But yeah, so let's be creative. Um, as much as I love free money, it's not necessarily free. Nothing's free. You got to work for it. <clears throat> Don't get stuck in those leases, you know, unless uh, you plan to be in the business for a while, which is, you know, you should. But I guess you just got to have a different game plan. My game plan was different. I wanted to own all my vehicles and I wanted to be able to leverage it and like, well, I don't even know what it's called, pawn it, title loans, or whatever, just in, when I needed the money, um, instead of depending on these uh, loan sharks out here. And yeah, people will give you all, all the money you want, but with high interest rates, right? So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys uh, got something out of it. I'll get back to you guys with another video soon. Talk to you later.